met David around 15 years ago when Jane Brunet, she made this trip to Santiago to make the album Alma de Santiago and, and she met David there. I also was involved in this album. David came here to Toronto around, the, around that time. 2001. 2001. Yep. David started working with Jen and touring around and that's well, how we met. The first time that we really worked together uh, was when they called us to, to do a tribute to Glenn Gould. Mm -hmm. We did a concert with, the, I think it was the Pandereski Quartet. Pandereski String Quartet. The string Quartet mm -hmm. and, and David uh, played some songs and I played myself some songs. I, we started working together at uh, Humboldt College because we was studying there and after he was part of the faculty, the same as me. We were part of the music scene here on Toronto for all this year until uh, David decided to move to New York. When I came to Toronto, I finally had a chance to meet Hilario personally because I had been listening to some of his recordings that both Jane and also Roberto Acquipinti, he had uh, given me some of, some of Hilario's music. We were always aware of you know, his, his artistry and his mastery, but it wasn't really until I came to Toronto that I got to see Ladio firsthand and, I, and kind of work closely. You know? So that for me was like, imagine you know, like coming from, from Santiago where you know, I had the chance to go to Havana and I was able to see a lot of my heroes you know, when I would go to the festival in Havana. But in Toronto, I had a chance to see you know, a master like Eladio working very closely. You know, just because of what he said, we, we were involved in a number of projects together. And also just seeing him, you know, just being part of the scene in Toronto, I would see, see him work with his different projects. And then eventually we got to, to be paired for different things, you know, this, which is why I got very excited when, when the opportunity for this came up, you know, because I always felt that there was a, uh, a rapport and also the reverence, you know, for someone like myself from my generation and, you know, being able to collaborate with someone uh, like Hilario, you know, who's such a master, you know, from a, certain, from a certain generation, you know, for me, that was very important and, and he's been an inspiration for all these years. To come here to do this, I have been amazed of how well we have been coordinating. Part of this is because we are both Cubans and we understand the music that we play. We grow up in the same, with the same foundation of music. All this style, all this musician is, is thrown into his veins and he really, he have a great knowledge of the musical traditions. The arrangements just feel very, I mean, for one, there's, you know, there's the creativity that come out of every page is, is incredible, but just the, the, uh, the craftsmanship that you can see in how Hilario writes the parts, you know, like every, every single piano part feels that it, was written, that it was written for the instrument. It's very pianistic, you know, and I personally appreciate that, you know, I appreciate seeing a, a piano part written with that kind of care, you know, and that kind of uh, purpose, you know, somebody that knows the instrument thoroughly and that knows how it's going to work with, with someone else, you know, in which register and, and the, the, you know, the balance the, between the, the two instruments and that kind of stuff. So that for me has been a real pleasure. When I knew that David was going to be part of this, the repertoire that I choose, of course, there will be more like based on some of the Cuban styles and the Cuban tradition, like, for example, the Punto, uh, I, I wrote a song about the Punto Cubano. That is, it's a very Cuban style for the music made for the farmers and the, and the East part of, of Cuba that I knew that David would be pretty much know, know the, the style, you know? The Punto, the Punto Guajillo and also another, uh, song in the style of Guajira that I did. When I wrote those parts, once the piano part, uh, David is doing the, the melody. I really satisfied and amazed at how David worked all those meticulously, really 
clean and, and great. And I don't think it was it was easy <laughs> <laughs> for him to do it, but, but the way that he developed it and he he made it was it sounded so so great. Really, I'm I'm very really happy about this. When he's doing a solo and I come for him, it's completely natural. What I like about this repertoire is that it kind of goes through a lot of like major genres, you know, in Cuban music. You have you have a guajira, like Larry said, you have a punto, guajiro, you have a danza, you know, but it's a different danza than the ones that are more well known, which are the contradanzas by by uh, Saumel and Cervantes. This is a danza from the 19th century, the one that we that we played. I believe it actually might be the first time that it's been recorded too. Uh, I don't think that piece has been recorded before. We have a piece by that I introduced to the project by the great Cuban composer Alejandro Garcia Catula, and we kind of worked it out in, a, in our own way. For me, this is, you know, this is really important because it kind of just goes through a, a lot of the history, a lot of the musical history, but also a lot of the of the history as it relates to the piano itself in Cuban music. You know, something like this where there are dedicated piano parts and everything is you know accounted for like like a, like a group you know like a band that's a different approach you know and that's what what Hilario had in mind so it's great great to be part of it it has been great for me to make this with, with him and i hope it won't be the last you know i'm just waiting to start playing <laughs> life everywhere in the world you know that I think it's going to be great.